Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of the how to make a uh, Battlegrounds game series. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up uh, profile service so that we can save our data and we're also going to be adding a kill counter. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get profile service. So there's a link in the description which you will click and it will take you to this page which I will show you right now. So as I said, it will take you to this page and you need to go here and click uh, it's open source Roblox library, click on here and it will take you to this page. Now you will click get, uh, I think it's, it's supposed to say get or try in studio, I don't remember but yeah, just get this and then you can go back to studio and now we can just drag it in. So we're going to go to the toolbox, inventory my models and we're gonna find profile service so i'm just going to lo look it up profile service and okay so here it is now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put it in uh, uh in service to service script service and what we're gonna do is we'll add a module script and this one will be called profile profile manager okay so the next thing we need to do is to okay so we're gonna enter profile manager first Okay, so inside of the profile manager script, what we're going to do is we're going to add another module and it's going to be called profile template. Profile template. Now in here, we'll return uh, a table and in this table, we're going to have our leader stats and it will be equal to another table. And for now, we're only going to have kills and it's going to be equal to zero. So this is the data that we're going to be saving can add multiple things here but for now we're just gonna have kills okay so we're gonna go back to profile manager and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get server script service so let's just do that local server script service equals game come on get service come on get service server script service now we need to get replicated storage local replicated storage equals game come on get service replicated storage but i don't think we need to do that and now we're gonna get players equals game come on get service players and now we will get run service. So local run service equals game come on get service run service. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna is we're gonna get a profile service. So we're gonna do local profile service equals require service script service dot profile service dot profile service not profile man manager profile service. And now what we need to do is uh, get the profile template, which is the module that's inside profile manager. So local profile template equals require equals require script dot profile template okay so the next thing we need to do is to uh, uh, create a profile store if you read the documentation on profile service uh, you're going to know that this is how it works so profile store equals and it's going to be profile service dot uh, get profile store and inside this you can have your data key for me it's going to be uh, let's just do test Key. and then we need to give it the profile template so profile template and by the way if you want this to not save in studio so we, we're just testing right now you can add a dot mark here for testing purposes but i'm not going to do that yet and what i will do is uh, i'm going to do module dot profiles equals an empty table which will fill up by uh, by uh, with the player's profiles. So we're going to have a folder inside of uh, Profile Manager. We're going to have a folder and it's going to be called uh, Profile Player Values. And what we're going to do is we will just copy the player values that we have in, in, the, in the data handler script, which was a testing script from, la from the last video. We will put this here. And then we will enter the data handler. I think we can just get rid of this now. Let's just delete the data handler script. And we can go back to profile manager. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is uh, go down here and do... We're going to create a couple of functions actually. So the first one is going to be player added. And that's going to take the player of course. And then we need another function and it's going to be called load player instances. So local function load player instances. And that will take the player and his profile. Okay, so now we're going to go back down here. And we will do um, for underscore comma player in players in players 
players colon okay i can type players colon get players do and what we're gonna do is task.spawn task.spawn and you can just type in player added and a comma and we're gonna send the player okay so in here we're gonna do players dot player added colon connect and we're gonna connect it with the player added function and now we're gonna do players dot player removing colon connect function and what we're going to do here is we're going to take the player again and we will do if the local profile equals uh, module dot module dot profile square brackets player and we're going to do if profile then uh, profile equals nil okay and we also need to do profile on release uh, i'm not sure if we need this profile equals nil uh, i will double check this later so we're going to add it later. I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know at the end of the video. And what we need to do now is in the player added function, we need to get the player's profile. So in here, we're going to do local profile equals profile store on load profile async player underscore dot dot player dot user ID. Okay, so now we need to check if the profile is not equal to nil. Then what we're going to do is profile on add user ID. Make sure to type in ID like I did, and then we will just add player dot user ID. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to do profile on the reconcile. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And now we're going to do profile on listen to release function. And what we're going to do is module dot profiles, square brackets, uh, and type again square brackets player equals nil and now what we need to do is player colon kick okay so now we need to do if player colon is descendant of uh, players just just to make sure of players uh, equals equals true then and what we're going to do is we're going to do module dot profiles and square brackets player equals and we're just going to set it to the profile okay so uh now we need to call the load player instances function and that's going to of course take the player and the profile and now we will just add an else and we're just going to type in profile con release okay so now we're going to go down here and we're going to add another else and we're going to just kick the player if the profile isn't loaded okay so in here we will loop through the player data that we have so we're just going to do for underscore comma v in script dot player values colon get children do v colon clone dot parent equals a uh, player okay now the next thing we need to do is to add a task task dot spawn function and what we want to do is make the leader sass work so we're going to go back here we're going to add a folder in the player values and we're going to call it leader stats now make sure that leader stats is spelled like this so with a lowercase l and now we're going to add a an int value and it's going to be called uh, what did i do oh okay and we're going to it's going to be called kills and the value is going to be zero of course and what we're going to do in here is um while true do and I think we should add a task dot weight, maybe 0 0.1. And what we're going to do is for underscore comma v in, in player dot leader stats on get children, children do. And local, what we're going to do is, um, I think we should do v dot value, um, Okay, so v dot value equals, and we're actually we're gonna go up here and we're gonna do local actual value, and it's going to be equal to profile dot data dot leader stats square brackets v dot name, and I forgot to add a space here, and v dot value equals actual value. Okay, so this I think will work, and what we're gonna do now is uh, test this, but that's actually not gonna work yet because we haven't uh, added a folder in here so we're going to add a folder in here and we're going to call it uh, services and another one called modules and i'm going to put a uh, profile manager inside of services and um, attack hitboxes inside of modules and profile service inside of modules 
And now we'll go back to server attack handler and you will notice that we can't really require attack hitboxes because this should now be script.parent dot parent uh yes script dot parent no it should just be script dot parent dot service dot uh actually yeah, dot modules dot attack hitboxes let's just make sure that that is it yes okay so now the next thing we need to do is to enter um uh, we're gonna add a server script to server script service we're gonna call it initiate or server runtime and what we're gonna do is for underscore comma v in script dot parent dot services call and get children do and task dot um actually we should do p call function task dot spawn function and we're gonna do require v so we will just initiate that module okay so we're gonna see if this works so i'm going to play the game and hopefully this will work uh actually now that i think about it it's not gonna work yet because we still haven't um checked api uh, allow studio access to api services which i will show you how to do right now but let's firstly see if it's going to give us any error and profile service is not a valid okay so go back to profile manager do server script service dot uh, uh modules dot profile service now if you play the game again i think it should work but as i said we still haven't enabled studio access to api services so we will need to do that but let's just wait for this to load and okay so we have our kills folder and we, our leader status do work and the data will save by the way because this is profile service it handles the entire data store for us and now i'm going to show you how to enable studio access to api services so that everything saves in studio 2. okay so you're going to need to go to game settings and go to security and enable studio access to api services and save and that's pretty much it so i'm going to uh work on making the kills actually work and count okay so now what we're gonna do is we will go back to um attack hitboxes and what we're gonna do is check if humanoid.health uh oh yeah if humanoid.health equals equals zero then what we're gonna do is a uh, player we're gonna get the player's profile so uh local player equals uh and we need to get players so local players equals game plug at service players local server script server script service equals game plug at service server script service now local profile manager equals and we're going to do server script service uh dot uh services dot actually we should require it uh require server script service dot pro dot services dot uh profile manager and now we're gonna do local player equals players call and get player from character and we're gonna get we're gonna uh send the character and after that we will get the profile so local profile equals profile manager dot profiles and square brackets player and now we need to go down here and we're gonna do profile dot data dot leader stats dot kills plus equals one uh same thing here just go back here and do this and if you play the game now i think our kills counter should work if you guys want me to make this a little more advanced you can let me know so that i can make it so that you have to deal a certain amount of damage to the player that you hit so that you uh you get a kill but yeah if you guys want me to do that just let me know in the comments and as you can see i get a kill now if i go and oh, what if i kill this guy again oh that's a bug we're gonna have to fix so let's do it so to fix that i think it's gonna be very very simple we just need to do and uh and humanoid dot health is greater than zero now if you play the game i think that should work okay let's test that and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go here kill this guy and uh let's see Okay, so i get a fourth kill and if i punch him again it's not gonna work and as you can see our data did save we still have four kills now if you guys want the data to not save in studio so that it does not annoy you you can just go back to profile manager and in here add a dot mock now if you play the game i shouldn't have uh five kills okay let's see uh yeah as you can see it does not save anymore but for now i'm going to take it off 
And yeah, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!